clapping for your next comic coming to the stage. She's a goddamn delight. Give it up for Anthony Calderon! Hey, everybody. How you doing? Ah, you guys. I got on the bus the other day. Sat on the bus next to this lady because it was a full bus and that was the only spot I had. Uh, she let me know three things right when I sat down. First thing she let me know is uh, apparently I'm 17. Uh, second thing she let me know is, uh, quote, I'm too young to smell like weed. <laughs> the third thing she said to me was, uh, uh, you Jews have everything. <laughs> yeah. That's right, us Jews certainly do have everything. On the 41 bus! The world is your oyster on the 41 bus! Drive faster, driver, roll down a window, I'd like to feel the wind in my hand! Get off on the next exit, I have some shopping to do at the promenade! I'm not Jewish, you guys. I just look like this. It's a problem that I have. It's ridiculous. You guys, uh, I don't want to brag, right in front of you, right at the top, but uh, I go to bars a lot, <laughs> and I get right in every time. No problem. I always get right in. Uh, but the other week, I went to like a Costco. Uh, that shit's not easy to get into at Costco. You walk up to the door, and the bouncer's like, are you a member? Are you a member? It's like, no, I just want a hot dog, man. I get got a table in there, it's got an umbrella, I pay for it. <laughs> but I do love Costco, because it's the only club I know you can get into by just being like, uh, uh, but my mom's in there. She's, she's right in there, she's getting a round ham. I'm a big fan of the NFL, you guys. I love the Seahawks, they fucking won today. What? Awesome! So, Everybody in the United States loves the NFL, and I think I figured out the reason why. It's because every American loves the celebrations. We all love the celebrations. My dad, though, not from America. He's, uh, whenever I'm watching the game with him, he's always like, uh, they're, just, they're just doing their jobs, and then they're celebrating. Right? They just do their jobs, they, they, they make the touchdowns, and then they just celebrate. Doing the jobs, and then celebrating. Forgot to tell you, my dad's Tony Danza. Um, <laughs> inside baseball. Um, but it's true, though, you guys. They do. They're just doing their jobs, and they're celebrating their jobs. Uh, I think it would be pretty sweet, though, if I, if I was at, like, Subway or something like that, and the guy got done making my sandwich, he just throws it in the bag, and he goes, boom, sack! Woo! <laughs> Five dollars, bitch! Wow! <laughs> or maybe if I was in like Oregon or something like that, and the guy had done pumping my gas. Like, uh, all right, that'll be it, Mr. Calderon. <laughs> if you don't like the robot, get the fuck out of this room right now. That's the best fucking dance we've ever created in the history of time. I think we can all agree on that collectively as a human race, right? It's the best. It's like so good, like, I'm pretty sure I was conceived due to the robot, you know what I mean? It's like 86, it's a prime time for roboting. Imagine my dad was up in the club just busting it out, just like. Then <laughs> he pulls out the move that gets the ladies every time, this one right here. A couple hours later, my dad was uh, dancing, but it was a little bit different. It was more like the Humpty. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> Six months later, I was born, you guys. <laughs> so I took myself down to birth weight. Uh, it's coming handy for me now, because now I'm like a 28-year-old man, and it's coming handy for me now, because now when I'm with like a woman, I can be like, I don't know what you're complaining about. I've been premature this whole time. <laughs> I've ever complained before, that's weird. You guys, I uh, did Molly for the first time recently. Yeah, that's. Yes. If you've never done Molly before, you guys, um, you should totally fucking do it. It's a blast. <laughs> so much fun! Uh, if you've never done it, basically, uh, you take a pill, and then uh, everything you touch feels like silk. Uh, and your, your bloodstream feels like glitter. And then you, you just come 
Angel whispers. <laughs> and you love lights. You just love the lights. I recommend uh, the first time you do Molly, don't go to a strip club. It's awful. It's a bad idea to go to a strip club the first time because you're super horny. You know what I mean? It's like I went to a strip club. I went to my, my buddy's bachelor party the first time I did Molly. And we went to a strip club uh, like you do. And I paid my tap. So I'm a gentleman, and uh, I walked in, and uh, there's a lot of lights, so I just uh, looked around for a while. <laughs> this lovely decor you have. <laughs> At a certain point, you know, the horniness kind of takes over. There's a bunch of naked women around. I got smart. I took my wallet in my pocket. I gave it to a buddy. Uh, and then I just continued to walk around. <laughs> And I wanted my wallet so bad, I, I didn't have it though, and I didn't know where it was, so I couldn't remember, so I just was walking around a strip club doing this. <laughs> and it felt great. <laughs> it felt so good, I was just like, oh yeah. <sighs> it's so good right now. <laughs> my shins feel awesome. <laughs> And then I woke up, because it was the morning. And I grabbed my wallet out of my pants because I wanted to see how much money I spent. And I realized uh, I gave my buddy $17 for safekeeping. You guys, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to a strip club, but $17 at a strip club basically buys you like a whispered compliment. <laughs> she just leans in real close, she's like, ah, nice posture. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much.